Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Broderick Thomas. Today we'll be looking at four different stories on conflict. The first story comes from Caitlin. Hey hun, um, I was just looking for my homework, but I can't find it. Do you know where it's at? The boots. Not sure why he would put it in the boot. Mm -hmm. Well, my husband told me that he put my homework in my boots. So these are my boots and I'm going, going to check them to see. Not really even sure why he would put homework in boots, but not seeing anything. I don't know why he would even do that, but now I'm being rushed and might not be able to get my homework in tonight. Oh, I'm really angry, so I don't see anything, so I guess I'm just going to have to wait until he gets back to me. So my husband finally called me back, and I was very angry with him. Why did he put my homework, why did he say he put my homework in a boot? And I looked in the boot, and there was no homework. So he told me that he put my homework in the car trunk. But they, in South Africa, and in other countries too, they refer to a trunk as a boot. In America, we call it a trunk. So, going forward, this, you know, we had some bickering going on, and the, the negotiation for this is that we're going to work on our communication. And if there's ever a time where we don't understand each other, we're not going to freak out. You know, like, he had to go to a meeting, and I was really rushed for time. So... I needed to take a chill pill and wait until he got back to me. But going forward, we are going to take our time with each other and make sure that we're on the same page and that we both understand where we're coming from. And this should resolve any issues going forward. Those South Africans, they get you every time. Communication is a central part of dealing with conflict. Our next story comes from Mary, I meant Mary Margaret. So, my name is Mary Margaret, and that alone gets a lot of conflict. Um, so, anytime I introduce myself, people a lot of times will ask, is that your last name? Mar Mary Margaret, Margaret's your last name. And I say, no, like, it's my middle name. Oh, so it's your middle name, so you don't go by Mary Margaret. No, actually, I do go by both, and I don't have, I also get, do you have a fourth middle name, a third middle name? No, I don't have another middle name. I just go by Mary Margaret, first and last, first and middle name, and then my last name's Randall. Um, so people are very, very confused by the double name. So a lot of times I get, are you Catholic? No, I'm not Catholic. Um, I'm just, that's my name. Are you Irish? No, not Irish. Um, it's just my name. Um, the truth is I'm from Alabama and a lot of white girls in Alabama have double names um, that I know. So there's, I mean, a hundred Mary blank, whatever it is. Um, I know a lot of Anna blank and it's all their middle name, first middle name. So even in Tennessee, um, it is the South and people like double names. I have to explain it a lot that they're both my name. And sometimes I go to the bank and I go to places where I just sign my name quick and I say Mary or Mary Randall. And then sometimes it'll catch up with me because they call me Mary and then I cringe a little bit on the inside or maybe a lot. And so it's just, it's not my name. And it's like someone, um, you know, just calling you by your middle name all the time, but that's not your name. So I have, I have learned a lot from it, especially when I work with students or people moving from other countries and like especially with other kids in like high schools and stuff and they cannot pronounce this kid's name so they make them a, a nickname I'm like no you're gonna spend that time and learn that kid's name because that's his name he's gone over, he's gone by that his whole life so um, with that conflict I think I've learned how to how to deal with other people and their identity and be sensitive to where people are at with um, family and name and culture and heritage so there you go. Those Alabama two names, I know about them all too well. Our next story is from Charlotte. 
who's going to talk more about conflict. Hey guys, Charlotte here. I decided to look up the word conflict since this whole course has been about it and we've learned so much on how to deal with it. There was something in my spirit that said, hey, look up the word. And when I looked up the word, it's a Latin word and it's a combination of two words, calm and flicker. Now, this is the most interesting part of my findings. Calm means, it's a Latin word which means together, together with, in combination. Now, how contrary is that based on what we've been taught? And then, flick comes from the word flicker, which means to strike. So, actually, the meaning is together you strike. And what are we striking? What are we, what, what, what are we striking? I think we're striking a balance. Now that's just my, I don't have a book to prove it. But based on the definition of the word, it means to strike together and to be in combination on the same page in accord with striking. And whether that's striking out miscommunication or striking out troubles, but if we look at conflict as a way to come together to get some resolution, oh my God, it just, it, it changes the way you see it. And, and conflict is, is really about how we perceive a thing. And we perceive based on our life experiences and who we are. And so you have to check yourself when you go into conflict. And as long as you know who you are, and more importantly, whose you are, the desire and need to strike against a person is no longer there. It's to strike together with a person. Thank you, Miss Charlotte. Our final subject has to deal with somewhat of a sensitive subject. I'm pretty sure I just got stopped because I'm black, but I could get upset about this, but I think I'm going to handle it in a calm way. I'm here on campus to meet Mark Elliott about a job. All right. Let's see. So this is the second time I'm being pulled over because I'm black, I'm pretty sure. So I think I'm about to get a little upset. Excuse me, sir. You stopped me twice. You remember me? You remember me? Do you remember me? No. I'm the, you're definitely pulling me over because I'm black. I know you are, and this is racist. Who's your superior? Who is your I'm pretty sure that's probably not the right way to handle it, even though I want to. I think I need to practice on some conflict resolution. Right now. Yes, sir. My name is Roger Thomas. Um, I think you called me over last week, but I just wanted to make sure that you have to say I'm going to school right now. I'll probably be around here. What's your name? Greg. Great. It's nice to meet you. Welcome to campus. Thank you. I appreciate it. That'll be all for us tonight. Remember, when dealing with conflict, to remain calm and to communicate. For Charlotte, Mary Margaret, Caitlin, and Broderick, we're signing off. Thank you.